I'm here at Alpine Armoring's World Headquarters, and today I want to show you our newest special project. This is our Tesla Model S. We have some pretty big plans for this car. We're going to send it to our manufacturing facility to get it fully armored, and then we're going to take it to our live fire testing range, and there we're going to perform one of the most extreme live fire tests you've ever seen. This Tesla was the personal vehicle of Alpine's CEO, who bought it new in 2012. And after years of use in Southern California, he was ready for a new vehicle. Instead of selling it, he brought it to the Alpine Armoring World Headquarters, which is located in Northern Virginia, near Washington, D.C. Unlike a typical vehicle armoring, this Tesla would serve as a research and development project for the engineering and design teams. And it was built separately from Alpine's usual manufacturing production lines. Alpine CEO wanted a final vehicle that would be fully armored, but with minimal impact to the legendary performance of a Tesla Model S. To accomplish these seemingly opposite goals, the team incorporated special ballistic light steel and lightweight ballistic polyethylene composite materials wherever possible. Areas like the door were perfect for installing lightweight polyethylene composite materials. Here's a closer look at a sample of ballistic polyethylene composite. Atypical ballistic materials like these offer extremely reliable protection at a fraction of the weight associated with standard ballistic steel. Another area perfect for this weight-saving ballistic composite is the custom-built partition that was installed behind the rear passenger seats. 50 pounds of weight was saved in this one area alone while maintaining the highest level of occupant safety possible. To address areas where lightweight composites were too thick to be used, Alpine Armoring sought out a unique lightweight ballistic steel. All of the factory glass was replaced with ballistic multi-layer polycarbonate. And several trim pieces were handcrafted to conceal all of the armoring. Finally, custom run flat inserts were placed on every wheel, bringing the protective level of this one-of-a-kind Tesla Model S to level A9 B6+. With the Tesla reassembled, it undergoes a final testing. And then it's returned to Alpine's new car showroom. Here it is, our Tesla Model S. It's now fully armored to level A9 B6+. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the finished product. These doors are now lined with level A9 B6 Plus opaque ballistic armor. And that includes some very high-tech composite materials that are there to help save weight. All this was done while maintaining a factory look for the exterior and the interior. Let's take a closer look at the glass. We replaced the factory glass with this fully encased, transparent ballistic armor for maximum occupant protection. One of the coolest features of the Tesla Model S is its all glass roof. Now this is such a cool feature, we wanted to keep it. So our team replaced the factory glass with custom A9 B6 Plus transparent armor. In the rear, we added a custom-made ballistic partition. It's built with both lightweight composite and transparent armor. This weight-saving solution meant the factory liftgate would work without any modification. And like every vehicle we produce here at Alpine Armoring, we made sure the tires were also protected. For our Tesla Model S, all four tires have run-flat inserts. This uh, armored Tesla Model S, it's one of their earlier models. We bought it 10 years ago or so, and uh, we've been driving it every day, brand new at the time. It's got 73,000 miles on it. We recently decided that, hey, why not armor this thing? We decided to, uh, to do a research and development 
product out of this. Enough with this internal combustion engine stuff. SUV sedans, we've done quite a few of them in the last two decades. So we're like, okay, this time we're gonna do an EV. And what better armor vehicle to be done on an EV than a Tesla? And that's what we're doing this Tesla to level A9. A9 is equivalent to B6 Plus, NIJ3, for those who don't know what that means. It basically stops high power rifle, 762 by 51, 556 by 45 rounds, 762 by 39, AK-47, Clash and Gulf, AR-15, M193, and all of that. So high power rifle, essentially. Of course, handguns and you know nine millimeter and all that as well. So anyone who is sitting inside the vehicle is protected from any angle that it comes in. There's a lot of research and development and engineering is done to this vehicle. All right, enough said, so let's start the shooting process and see what happens. We're gonna have some surprises for you down the road, so keep on watching, you'll see what we mean. All right, let's see what happens here. Man, nothing at all. Look at that. Right at the seam, where the glass meets the opaque, which is usually the, the weak spot. Nothing happened. Perfect. Oh, baby, nothing. nothing. Nothing at all, look. Absolutely, still is nice and easy. Beautiful, right there, look at that. Smooth as you know what.
not Wow. It didn't do anything. That's like nothing. It basically like yeah. melted. It's like a paint. It's like a thin Could you do kind of oh, spray it a little bit? Okay. So you can, you, you got spray. Uh, yeah. absolutely. How many how many can you spray? How many do you want? I got a whole mat. I got eight more in there. I got eight. So Pepper it in different locations. Yeah, just just pepper it here, not you know here, and, and okay. just deal with yeah. it. Right. By this time, we had fired more than 30 rounds at our level A9 B6 Plus Tesla Model S without a single instance of a ballistic penetration. But we were far from being done. You may notice that the Tesla typically, at least this model, has a panoramic roof. Well, we decided that instead of making it all opaque and all that, it's like, you know, why not protect the roof as well, keeping it OEM looking, which means the glass itself is protected as well, all of that. Just like the OEM, except armor. At this point, we brought in one of our all new Pitbull VXT trucks to lift our shooter up off the ground. We did this to decrease the impact angle of the nine millimeter rounds. With the shooting concluded, we closely examined each impact point on the panoramic roof. And again, the transparent, multi-layered polycarbonate armor performed perfectly. There wasn't a single ballistic penetration. After dozens of rounds were fired at our fully armored Tesla Model S, our live fire ballistic testing was complete. This was the most comprehensive ballistic test of a fully armored electric vehicle ever done. No area was off limits to our shooters to better simulate a real world live fire scenario. But we did request that our shooters avoid firing rounds into the driver's side of the front windshield. We did this because this Tesla, even after being repeatedly shot, was gonna be driven more than two hours back to our Northern Virginia headquarters. When the live fire tested Tesla Model S arrived back at Alpine Armory, it was immediately placed front and center in the main showroom. There, visitors can examine it and evaluate each impact to see how well each piece of armor performed. Let's take a closer look at each area now, starting with the driver's door. The transparent armor of the driver's side door was shot four times with 5.56 by 45 rounds. Two impact points are of particular interest. The topmost impacts were within inches of each other, and the lowest impact was at the confluence of the transparent and opaque armor. These two types of impacts offer the highest risk of a penetration. But when we open the door and examine the inside, we can see that there wasn't a single instance of a penetration, including the two high-risk impacts. Directly below the transparent armor is the opaque armor. This was a combination of both high-tech composite and traditional steel armors. We shot this door four times with both 5.56 by 45 and 762 by 51 rounds. Let's take a look at the inside of the door. Again, we can see that there wasn't a single penetration. Of particular note is the high velocity rounds of 7.62 by 51, which impacted directly into the lightweight composite material without penetrating. Now let's look at the all important rear passenger area, starting with the rear transparent armor. We stepped up our testing here by firing high velocity rounds, including 7.62 by 39 from an AK-47 and 7.62 by 51 from a custom high power rifle. Inside, we can see the massive amount of energy the transparent armor withstood without a penetration. There's no doubt the rear passengers would have been completely protected. Now let's look at the opaque armor of the lower door. 
We fired five high-velocity rounds into the opaque armor, including 5.56 by 45 and 7.62 by 51. Four of the five rounds impacted directly into the lightweight composite material. Inside, we can see that there wasn't a single penetration. The lightweight composite armor performed perfectly, proving that this special material used to help maintain vehicle performance is also an extremely effective ballistic material. The transparent armor installed on the roof was put to the test against five rounds fired from a 9mm handgun, each from an extremely close distance. This was as real world as a live fire test could be. Examining the inside, we could see that the armored roof performed perfectly. Each time a round impacted the roof, the energy was dissipated and the round was deflected safely away from the interior compartment. And now let's take a closer look at the front windshield, where we fired 18 rounds into one side of the transparent armor. 5.56 by 45, 762 by 39, and a volley of 9mm Luger rounds were fired into the transparent armor. This amount of rounds is six times the traditional number fired into a ballistic material for protective certification. And now, let's head inside to see how well the A9 B6 Plus transparent armor performed. Again, the A9 B6 Plus transparent armor exceeded our expectations by preventing each of the 18 rounds fired from penetrating. A particular note here are the areas impacted closest to the edges of the transparent armor, but the transparent armor was flawless in its protective capabilities. Overall, we fired 38 rounds at our research and development Tesla Model S. We shot 9mm, 5.56 by 45, 7.62 by 39, and 7.62 by 51 rounds from handguns, high-powered rifles, and a rapid-fire submachine gun. We shot the Tesla from different directions and angles. We shot the transparent and opaque armor. We even used a pit bull truck to fire rounds from an elevated position. And at the end of the day, there wasn't a single penetration to our research and development Tesla Model S. One last thing. Remember when our CEO said, We're going to have some surprises for you down the road, so keep on watching. You'll see what we mean. Our day at the range included more than just shooting our fully armored Tesla Model S. But that is a subject for another video.